Once we get our content created on our website, what really helps us is to get some positive reinforcement to see what actually is working. That way we can do more of it. Google Analytics makes that really easy. We can look on our website, see where we're getting traffic, see where people are coming in and what people are doing once they've entered our website. And that helps to guide us to say, okay, what are we doing that does work and how do we do more of that? Google Analytics, as we can see, is a freemium web analytics service offered by Google. It tracks and reports website traffic. It launched the service in November 2005. This is what the dashboard looks like for Google Analytics inside the admin menu. And if you go over to the home menu over here, the basic tracking might look something like this, which is cool because I can see there's five active users on my website right now. I can see exactly what pages people are on and I can see how I acquire users. For example, social media, direct traffic, or other. These are some of the basic things, and you can get into a lot of advanced features, track how much individual pages are worth, sync this up with Webmaster Tools, and you can really get crazy with all the things you can do in Google Analytics, users by time of day, etc. Now, uh, this can be a helpful tool. At the same time, we can get lost in Google Analytics. We can put more time and energy in Google Analytics than we do into what we create. I use Google Analytics today to occasionally check on my traffic to see what people are looking at on my website and to get an idea for planning what to create in the future. I've spent a lot of time in the past trying to obsess over things, set up advanced features, track how much money each page was making, and I can say today most of that time was a waste except for my ability to now teach you about Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a helpful tool to understand what we're doing right. When we try and start getting into the deep down tiny details of what users are doing, we often are better off just asking people what actual experience they're having on our website. For example, talking to our customers or our website users on the phone if we or emailing back and forth that qualitative data can help us get a better idea of the big picture. A lot of the time we might spend analyzing data in Google Analytics often doesn't give us the big picture of what the user's doing and often Google Analytics does not include all of our traffic or give us even an accurate measurement of what people are looking at because there's browsers now that have do not track by default and uh, there's other ways of accessing our websites that don't come up in Google Analytics at all. Therefore, Google Analytics is a helpful tool to quickly look at things like what web pages are getting the most views to guide us in our creative efforts. Uh, at the same time, I don't see it as something that is worth putting uh, one person to do it full time or putting a ton of time and energy into because to me, the primary focus is what we're creating and what we're sharing with others. If we can understand how to best do that, that's helpful. If we're taking so much of our time trying to understand what we're getting, so to speak, and what people are doing, then uh, we're missing out on time to essentially create and give and do more. I appreciate you getting started with this Google Analytics section of the course, and I hope it's helpful for you to use Google Analytics, and this is the newest interface as of October 2018.